Hello, this is a quick illustrative example of the Harrod DeMar model. The Harrod DeMar model assumes that uh, the capital output ratio is constant because there's an unlimited amount of labor available. That is, that whenever we increase the capital stock, there is just uh, an unlimited amount of labor to work that capital stock, and therefore output will increase with uh, the capital stock in a linear fashion. So all we need to do here is figure out how to increase the capital stock and that will lead to an explanation for the growth rate of output. Let's just do an example here. Suppose we are looking at the Central African Republic and this is just an illustrative example. This is not a, uh, a realistic example. Uh, but according to the CIA uh, World Factbook, GDP or output is three billion. Output per capita or income per capita is $600. And I'm going to assume that the, the capital stock is equal to $12 billion. And according to CIA, the net savings rate is equal to 3% of output. And we have our harrod demar equation, which says that the growth rate of output is equal to the change in output divided by output right here, and which is equal to this savings rate divided by the capital output ratio right there. I don't know if you remember this, but let me just uh, remind you. So what we're assuming here is that investment is always going into the, the, an increase in capital. So whatever we invest goes into increasing the capital stock. We assume that the, the savings rate is a constant proportion of output. And here we have that be equal to 3% of output. And we assume that the capital output ratio is always equal to C and always constant. And, uh, and finally, because it's constant, then the change in capital stock and over, divided by the change in output will also be constant. They're always going to be the same. So the harrod demar model assumes that the saving equals investment, which means that uh, the savings rate multiplied by output is equal to the change in capital. I'm just plugging in these things over here. Uh, because of the constant capital output ratio, we can substitute for C times change in Y. We can rearrange here so we get our harrod demar equation. So that's where that equation comes from. Put that over here. Okay, let's do the example here. So uh, clearly, if we have the savings rate, S equals 3. We need to calculate the capital output ratio. So K divided by output equals 12 billion divided by 3 billion. So that's equal to 4. So that's a little c. And if we want to calculate the, the growth rate of output right now, we can uh, obviously do that. Growth rate of output is equal to 3 divided by 4, 0.75%. Now, that's not very good. So suppose we put a target output growth rate. Suppose we want uh, this, uh, this country, the Central African Republic, to grow faster than that. So we're going to take the steps here that we use to figure out the harrod demar model and how to use that for development. Uh, it's very, very simple. So uh, the first thing we have to do is determine our target growth rate. Suppose we want our growth rate to be, I don't know, 6%. That seems like a good number. The country will grow and catch up with the other countries in the world. Uh, we, are, we know what the capital output ratio is, so that's equal to 4. We calculate that. Uh, we can calculate the required investment for the target growth rate. So let's try to calculate that. So according to our equation over here, we see that in order to have 6%, we'll have S divided by 4, which implies that that uh, net national savings rate would have to be equal to uh, 4 times 6, which is 24%. All right, that's a big number. So uh, we, we happen to know what the actual savings rate is. So this is what we are aiming for. The actual is equal to 3%. So now we can calculate the, the financing gap or the saving gap. 
So we can see that's equal to 24 minus 3 equals, wow, 21 percent. So in order for this country to grow at uh, at well, the rate that we would like it to grow, which is 6 percent, we would have to supplement or or fill the financing gap equal to 21 percent, 21 percent of the nation's output. So we can see here that we need a lot of uh, foreign aid. So we can even calculate that. We know that the output level is uh, 3 billion, so the required foreign aid is 0.21 times 3 billion which is equal to 0.63 billion, 630 million. Well, there we have it. If we want the uh, Central African Republic to grow at 6%, all we need to do is supply them with 630 million of foreign aid. It's very easy. Of course, the real world is not this easy, and this example is only illustrated. But there you have it.